Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with a layout for the off the board hop that's happening for the entire month. I will have the links for everyone who is playing along with off the board, whether it be daily or weekly or whenever they can, which is what I am doing. So be sure to check the description box down below and see what everyone else is being inspired by. Basically, if you have not heard of this hop or this series, it is or was created, I believe, by Crystal. And she just came up with the idea of taking our Pinterest boards and using pins that we have on our Pinterest boards and creating layouts based off of our pins. Now they can be scrapbook related, but they don't have to be. You could be home decor related, they could be food related, they could be garden related. Whatever gives you inspiration and you wanna take that and create a page, that is what this series is all about. So for my layout today, I actually am using a sketch and it is a Laura Whitaker sketch. And so I have several different boards and one of my boards or I have a couple of different scrapbook boards and I just sort of pin things whenever I see them. And I have lots of sketches on my boards. And so I pulled this one because I liked the kind of design of this page. And so while I was talking, I did go ahead and cut down some pattern papers. I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And so all of these pages are mostly from Pink Fresh, and then I have some Hip Kit exclusives. And so I'm basically just cutting down some pattern papers that were from my kit, and I am pulling out my scallop punch, and I'm going to use this piece of Pink Fresh paper, which is quite old. I don't know what collection it was, but I'm going to use this to make my scallops to sort of mirror what is in the sketch. I do end up with a cluster that has my photo at the bottom as well as the band of papers at the top. So I definitely keep to the sketch with that. I don't necessarily keep my embellishing in the same location as the sketch, but other than that, you definitely can see my takeaway or my inspiration of the sketch for this layout for sure. So there you see, I'm just kind of playing around with what I'm going to put on my background. And next I have my photos, which you can see there. I am thinking at this point that I was going to have three photos. I do only end up using two of those photos. But before I start to actually put my pattern papers down, I am just taking some Heidi Swap Color Shine in the color of blush, I believe it was. Now this color, while it looks darker on the page right now, when it dries, it actually almost dries the exact color of the background. So I just added that little bit of splatter just to add a little bit of very subtle interest to the background, which you don't really, like I said, end up seeing you can see it in person, but on camera, I think it will blend in quite a bit. I'm not sure you'll see it. And here, like I said, I have the three photos. They are all of the same waterfall. I just, they're just in different um, sort of distances from the waterfall itself. And so I do end up going with only two of these, but basically they're all of the same waterfall that was when we went on vacation in Gatlinburg. And so I am going to scrap these photos today. I We did a hike with the kids to one of the waterfalls. I actually forget off the top of my head which one this was, but um, what is one of our favorite things to do when we go on vacation to the mountains is to definitely hike up and see the waterfalls. We've done a couple. Um, I hope we get to go again, maybe next year. We didn't get to go this year, maybe next year, and do another one, so we will see. So like I said, I'm going to use two of the photos, and I end up choosing these two. So I'm going to have them side by side there, and now that I have my pattern papers cut and laid down in my background, I am going to go ahead and get all the embellishing done for this layout. And I do believe, actually... It's been a little bit since I created this layout, so I actually think that these are from the original sketch where, give or take, the embellishment clusters were. So I guess I do stay pretty close. I pulled out some 
florals from my Pink Fresh collection. This was the Fresh Bouquet, which is the majority of the papers that were in my kill, How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I pulled out some florals. I did cut off all the extra white borders that were on those florals to kind of not have them be such wide white borders. I also fussy cut these butterflies from a piece of pattern paper. I pulled out that title that says carefree. That's going to be the title for this page. And I liked that. I got to use one of those pre-made words, which is great. I have a hard time using those. And I thought that was kind of perfect for a waterfall. It's it, just nice to just sit when we finally got to the waterfall and just relax and listen to the water. And so I thought that kind of made a perfect title. Now I am just going through all the bits and pieces that I pulled that I thought I might use on this page. I don't use any of those stickers. I use this ampersand and I believe I use a, a second ampersand in one of the clusters as well that was from a puffy sticker sheet. And those are really just to sort of add a little bit of extra texture to my clusters. There's no real rhyme or reason to why I'm adding the ampersands. And you can see the other one is up there in that top cluster. I'm going to kind of just fuss around with where those butterflies are going to go and then off camera I glue everything down. I did add some sequins in the or off camera so those are here in these still photos and with that guys these are the photos and don't forget to check those links down below and with that guys I will catch you on the next one have a great day everybody bye bye